Today's homily will be about the topic of work and play. The great Chinese philosopher Confucius said, choose a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life. I'm not going to debate with Confucius, but I do think a lot of people misinterpret that saying quite often. Many times people believe because they don't love their job, it's not the job that's for them, that it's not suitable, that they should look for something else. But I think that we interpret the quote in a way that we shouldn't today. I think that because of the generations changing so rapidly due to technology, this is a quote that deserves some attention. When someone says, choose a job you love and you'll never have to work a day in your life, that is not meant literally. That does not mean that if you love what you do and you do it every single day, you're going to love it every single day. It also does not mean that if you love what you're doing, you will always love it. Because as you grow and as you change, your likes and loves and desires will change along with you. So it's safe to say that you could have loved a job worked in it for a while and no longer love it. So now it's just work. It's also safe to say that some things that you do love doing is still work, like being a stay-at-home mother. To dive deeper into this topic, we first have to discuss what work really is. There's two definitions that I pulled up about work. One being an activity involving mental or physical effort done in order to achieve a purpose or result. The other definition being a task or task to be undertaken, something a person or thing has to do. Well, that's the general definition of work, but we all interpret work different. When I see construction workers on the side of the road in the blistering heat in South Florida, I think to myself, that's hard work. Now, somebody may love doing construction and not think the same of it. It just depends on a person. Work to me may not be what work to you is. Work to you may not be what work to me is. Some things I love to do is not as much work as it is for somebody else. One way that I do analyze work in the context of Confucius's quote is if you love what you're doing, would you do it for free? Aside from having bills, aside from having other responsibilities that you needed money for, say say that everything was taken care of. If you loved what you, you're doing for work, would you do it for free? I think that's a safe um, question to, to judge how much you actually love what you're doing. Or do you appreciate what you're doing in a, in a sense because it brings you some type of monetary benefit and that monetary benefit allows you to love it? because it allows you to live a certain lifestyle. There's jobs that you'll love, there's jobs that you'll like, and there's jobs that you'll deal with. Each of them will have a why. Why did you love this job and choose to do it and take a pay cut? Why did you like this job and choose to move across the country to work in it? Why did you choose to deal with this job when it brought you all these stresses and all these headaches? Your motivation to work is not because you love what you're doing. It's because you love the benefit that the work you do provides you. Whether that's smiling faces or monetary gain or time off from work, you don't love what you're doing more than you love what it provides. Better yet, that job equaled an opportunity. Work to live don't live to work. We can debate about what work is and how people see work all day because everybody has a different concept of work. Everybody has a different feeling towards work. Some people like their jobs, don't like their jobs, they're satisfied doing what they're doing for another 20 years. Some people want to transition out of a job as soon as they get a call back. It just depends on the person and it also depends on the jobs. But what is a job for anyway? Whether you love it, like it, or hate it, what are you going to work for? In the first place, it's for an opportunity. We're all going to work to be able to live our lives, to do something that we're passionate about, to do what we love, to do what we like. The things that I love to do doesn't pay me any money. So I guess in a nutshell, I would be the type of person who would never love a job. 
I may like a job. I may enjoy doing certain jobs, but I would never love a job because the things that I love, they don't make money. Spending time with my family doesn't make me any money. Going to the beach never made me any money. So I'm always going to work, whether I love it, like it, enjoy it, or indifferent. But I do believe that the goal of work should be to move you closer to accomplishing whatever it is that you want to accomplish, whether that be an educational goal, uh, a goal to travel the world, a goal to secure your kid's future, uh, for financial stability, um, to, to, to have expensive hobbies like fixing an old school car or flying a plane on the weekends. It's not to say that you can't use that opportunity as a stepping stone to the next. So don't be convinced that just because you're not doing what you love, you're doing the wrong thing. Or that just because you don't love your job, you can't reasonably stay at that job and live a great life and work nonetheless. But the chances are, even if you loved what you were doing, you would be working sometimes too, most of the time. Another thing to think about is, what about people who work for themselves? People open up their own businesses all the time, and they'll tell you there is no harder job than working for yourself. So I just want you all to keep that in mind. When you're thinking about work and play, think that you're only working for the opportunity to play. You're only working for the opportunity to get towards those goals that are important to you. That's the point of work. No matter what you decide to do, how much you love it, like it, or are indifferent about it, it's just a foot in the door to get you closer to where you want to be in life. So maybe it's not that you need a change of scenery. Maybe it's not a new job you need at all. Maybe just your perception on work needs to change. Because work would be work no matter how much you loved or enjoyed what you were doing.